Welcome back. Now this is going to be a lot of fun in the regular feature of RPM. It's the Battle of Bathurst. Now these are our SimWorks simulators, tens of thousands of dollars worth of hardcore and of uh, software technology as well. Basically they replicate a V8 supercar. Our challenge for our drivers is one lap around Mount Panorama. Our drivers today, Mr Mark Webber, ladies and gentlemen, and the Bathurst champion, Chaz Mostert. Mark in the red car. Chaz in the white car. Gentlemen, your engines are started, so I'm going to give you a three, two, one. Let's rip. We're underway in the Bathurst Battle of RPM 2015, and James Courtney's going to help talk oh. us through this one. Good start by Weber. Weber's off the line. Hard in the one, though. Well, there's a line already. On board with Chaz. Up mountain straight. It's a little bit different to the, uh, the cars they're used to. <laughs> So sequential gear. Yeah, the fun starts, mate. Yeah. <laughs> they, they can't work out if it's second or third through uh, turn two here. Come on, Chaz. I don't know if to go for a Ford bike, but... <laughs> oh! Takes it out a little wide. Right, now, up through the cutting. Weather leads from Mostert. Tricky on the inside. Let it drift. Looks like Mark was driving without his hands then. <laughs> oh! That had a touch of turn eight Adelaide in it. You know this part of the circuit a little too well over the last couple of years, James Courtney, but now we're up the top. Now it starts to get serious. Oh, this is, uh, this is the exciting part. Mark's just kissed the wall again in the red car in front where the red car should be. Good work, Mark. Up over Skyline. How are you travelling, Mark? <laughs> Sweaty hands, can't even talk. Oh, oh Mark's over the wall! Oh, Chaz, you still got him, mate. Don't worry. Chaz has got his tongue. It's all over the place in his mouth there. <laughs> Oh, Mark, you've got him. You've got him. Better control. He's going to try and lunge you here for sure. Oh, <laughs> he's just about hit every wall on the circuit. Oh, you've got about a, a car and a half, Mark. Oh, you bagged him off on the exit. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't go anywhere there. Sorry, mate. I was all over the road. <laughs> all right, the red one's in front. It's the main thing. It, oh, it's about three car lengths, isn't it? Right. What's the blocking rules in these V8s, mate? <laughs> as hard as you can. Don't worry about it. It's <laughs> formation 2-1, isn't it? Oh, you've got him, Mark. You've got him. Keep it clean, mate. You could be off. Wasn't a bad one. Oh, he's just oh. off. He's buried it. You've got it. Just don't muck up the last corner. He's going to lunge for sure. He has to lunge. Oh. It's on. You've got it. Well done. Weber wins the first ever battle. Chaz, think, Chaz, uh, Chaz, you were beaten by a bloke who's hit just about every wall yeah, at Mount Panorama. that's right, mate. He had nowhere to go over the top, so I had to block the whole track, mate. Yeah. <laughs> How was that, mate? I mean, that's a totally different experience for you, and they are very lifelike. Yeah, well, it's like driving in the rain, I think, for me, mate. But, uh, yeah, Chaz uh, was certainly a lot quicker over the mountain, but he had nowhere to go because I, uh, like I say, hit every wall in, inside. But, uh, wow... <laughs> You could lose some hours on these bad boys, mate, that's for sure. <laughs> and really, how, how realistic are they in terms of handling? I mean, they throw you around as well. Yeah, for sure. Like, I guess the cockpit's pretty much set out exactly like a real supercar, so it's uh, pretty good to get in here, but um, you, know, you don't quite have the feeling under your bum like a, a real car, but the graphics and all that is you know, outstanding, so it's pretty cool to get in here. Just no hey. ruse, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Peter Brock trophy last year. This time you can say you are beaten by a bloke called Mark oh, Webber. It's not a bad thing right? to do. So we've been keeping uh, track of the times, Larko. We're going to put them up every week. What numbers did they run? Well, Matt, not bad. Only two tenths between the boys on the leaderboard now. Mark Webber, 217.4. So actually a really average time, but he's on top of the board. <laughs>